Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about pad suppression inside uh, the Cadence PCB Editor tools. So pad suppression has predominantly been kind of like a, a manufacturing process or a post-process when you generate Gerber data or you get the fabricators to do it. Um, and what it does is it effectively removes any pad stack or pad on the inner layers of a design. So if I'm not using a connection, I'm not connecting to this pad anywhere, um, what would happen is the pad gets removed, so all I'm left with is the hole. Um, from, a, from an expert Gerber point of view, we've obviously got the ability to suppress this um, as a post-process, so you finish your design and you then, when you generate the Gerber data, it suppresses any unconnected pads. Um, but the disadvantage of doing this is it's not creating any space, um, you're then relying on looking at the Gerber data afterwards to make sure it's done it correctly. Um, whereas if you do it dynamically using the Cadence PCB Editor tools, it allows you to physically see it. Um, in some instances, obviously, I've got a pad-to-pad -pad spacing with a, a track in the middle. If I wanted to, to get two tracks through here, I might be able to do that. If I suppress the pads, I've got more of a routing area. The way it's driven inside the PCB Editor tools is we go to Setup, Cross-Section. I've then got options to effectively suppress the pins and suppress the bias on inner layers. So we'll just enable all of those. And then on the unused pad suppression tab, I can then turn this to dynamic. Um, I get some warnings about DRCs going out of date um, and the pins need making sure that the whole DRCs are turned on. And I then apply. If I cancel the form now, what you can physically see now is all I have is effectively the graphics showing me the hole. If I've actually got a pad or a connection on it, it shows me the pad. So let's just enable the DRC modes to make sure they're checked. So we're going to set up constraint modes. We'll go to the spacing modes and obviously making sure that all the whole two options are checked. So we'll just enable all of those. Hit apply. We've now effectively got all the DRC modes working correctly. So if you're then going to the add connect command and I want to route this connection on this layer, you can see effectively I've just got a hole at the moment. As soon as I start to route, the pad or the, for the via gets shown and the pad for the corresponding pin gets shown. Let's just slide this um, this track a little bit closer. So obviously I can go a lot closer to the hole. If I then start to root, it then shows me the hole would be there, which is obviously going to cause me an issue. So it won't physically update here. Um, from a DRC point of view, I need to make sure I do an update DRC to see this. If I'm not using this pin, obviously when I take it away, I'm not going to cause a DRC error. There is some property override, so I can obviously go to the symbol. So let's just tap through to the symbol. There's a property that I can actually add, so property element, and what I want to do is um, unused pads ignore, so we can add that on a, a component level. When I hit apply, effectively all the pad stacks that are shown now for that symbol, and it, this unused pad submission won't work on that specific symbol. 